If you have been following the developments today, you are likely aware that the Galaxy S24 Plus and S24 Ultra, both driven by the Exynos 2400 and Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipsets, have made appearance in benchmark tests. These Geekbench entries have finally confirmed some rumors that have been circulating for months. However, there is a twist. When it comes to version of the Galaxy S24 Ultra that will be available for sale in the US and Europe, it too has made an appearance in Geekbench with its own set of results. On one hand, these benchmark results confirm that in Europe, the S24 Ultra will be equipped with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chipset, while the base and plus model in the region will feature the Exynos 2400 chip instead. On the other hand, these new benchmark results present an interesting challenge. Surprisingly, the benchmark scores for the European Galaxy S24 Ultra are actually lower than those recorded by the S24 Plus with the Exynos 2400 chip. Take a look at this screenshot. The European S24 Ultra powered by the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip scored fewer points compared to both its American counterpart and the Galaxy S24 Plus with the Exynos 2400 chip. In single core tests, the European variant reached a maximum of 2059 points and scored 4506 points in core performance. In contrast, the US variant with the Snapdragon chip achieved higher score of 2234 and 6807 respectively. Interestingly enough, the Exynos 2400 powered Galaxy S24 Plus managed to outperform its Snapdragon counterpart with scores of 2067 and 6520. Clearly, in terms of performance, it appears that the European version of the S24 Ultra equipped with Snapdragon is lagging behind. However, it's crucial to consider that these may be early models or prototypes, and Samsung may not have fully optimized their chips for their upcoming flagship devices. Therefore, it's highly likely that we will see improved benchmark results with the Galaxy S24 Ultra finally arrives. In all, honestly, while these benchmark results may not hold great significance at this point, these do provide some level of assurance that the S24 Ultra will indeed feature the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 processor in all markets, including Europe. It's too early to make a final judgment based on these Geekbench results, but the fact that the Exynos chips are still performing well could be a good sign for Samsung's future projects. What are your thoughts on these new benchmark scores for the upcoming Galaxy S24 Ultra? Feel free to share your opinion in the comment section below. And for more updates, please visit our channel. Until next time, take care.